this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Taurus. Hi, Taurus. <clears throat> so, with the holiday of love coming up, <laughs> sorry, Valentine's Day, I decided that, you know, we had to, we had to do some love reads, right? Because I'm a love reader. I'm a twin soul reader. And so that's what we're doing. Sorry, my hair is doing some crazy stuff. So we are going to go right into it, Taurus. And I'm going to read your card just like I did Aries. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the cards out first. And then we are going to read them when we have them all laid out. So for those of you that don't like the shuffling and the... <clears throat> Hold on one second. Let me clear your space, Taurus. All right. So for those of you that don't like the shuffling, you can go ahead and sort of forward pass this. We are reading now for Taurus, my beautiful earth sign, Taurus. Mm. And I'm not going to be doing any singles reads because I'm a twin soul reader. I will strictly be focusing on those that are in the twin soul journey. So what does Taurus need to know right now about the twin soul journey? And how it's unfolding I'm assuming if you're watching me then you may be in contact with your twin flame or you may not be in contact with them at all if you are in contact it's probably not you're probably not in contact with them um, all the time and that's probably why you're watching me right I assume if you're happily in a union, you won't be watching me, <laughs> right? You're probably like in sporadic contact with your twin. That's what I was looking for. So for February, end of February, what do we got for Taurus, please? One card. There it is. Flew out. Wowzes. Okay, Taurus. All right, Taurus, please. <clears throat> and I appreciate all of you being so patient. You know, in December, me and all of my children had COVID. And then my daughter and my son were sick again, um, beginning of January. My daughter does ballet, and so there's it's just a germ fest there. And she picked up a cold, and... <laughs> There was more sickness, and i just been cleaning and cleaning and cleaning. Okay, Taurus, what do they need to know? Taurus. Taurus, 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 my beautiful Tauruses. I'm going to be putting my readings on sale in lieu of Valentine's Day, of course. So keep an eye out for that. I can't remember. Ooh, okay. Wow, Taurus. You got some really great stuff coming in. Oh my goodness. All right. Um, just pulling from the Bodhi Tarot. I just pulled from the Love Oracle by Simply Spiritual. Can I get two cards for Taurus, please? And your energy is beautiful. Your cards are just flying out. Wow, Taurus, I feel like February is, is going to be like the month of love for everyone. I don't know why I feel like that, but I felt like that even, and I don't think it has, honestly, I don't think it has anything to do with Valentine's Day. My nose is getting really itchy, which shows me that my spirit guides are so heavy in here for you, Taurus. You know that usually that is a sign that my spirit guides are super duper heavy. All right. So you've done a lot of work on yourself, Taurus, and it is beginning to be reflected in from your love life. Like I literally, there's a card here. There's two cards here that are talking about attracting different things because you have, um, you went through the transformation, you know, you were in the cocoon and you came out and you were this beautiful butterfly now. And it is drawing in so many things in regards to your love life. It's amazing. For those of you that have no idea who your twin soul is, 
you will not be in the dark for very long because the cards are speaking of drawing in um, that love connection because you have now aligned yourself to it. Okay, can we get, whoa, four cards for Taurus. Yes, see? That's the card of doing a lot of work on yourself, doing the inner work and knowing what you needed to do to create your best life, working on yourself, your energy. Oh, yep. We had a little bit of heartbreak and I feel like that heartbreak was the catalyst which made you... Um, Wow. I don't think I've had a reading like this for anyone in a really long time. You got the sun. That's all of your happily ever after. Do we even need to pull another card? So you got two cards here that came out. Wow. 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 Okay. <laughs> so the heartbreak was the catalyst which propelled you into your timeline that you're at now, which is one of healing, working on yourself, transformation, taking the steps needed to draw in your twin soul. And you might have not even, I feel honestly, Taurus, like you didn't even do this on purpose. I feel like you were just focusing on yourself just because you wanted to. It wasn't because you're like, I'm going to draw my person in. It's because you wanted to focus on yourself and work on your goals because it was bringing you such joy and it has literally magnetized you into like exactly what your twin soul um, was has been searching for. Okay, can we get one more card for Taurus, please? Wowzers. So we have the Eight of Pentacles came out right with the Three of Swords. Um, and like I said, that was showing me that the reason you did all this work on yourself was because possibly you had something happen which caused a little bit of a broken heart. And so instead of lying there defeated with that broken heart, you decided, okay, so I'm going to I'm gonna go inward and I'm going to focus on me. And because you did that, there was a shift in your energy field, which has put you on your highest timeline. Can we get one last card from the Rumi Oracle for Taurus, please? Taurus. There's your card. Look at that. Look at how it came out. La la la. The Dissolving Light 3. And that is a master number for those of you who are aware. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and interpret these cards. We have the first card that we pulled from the Angel Romance Angels is Honeymoon. It says, Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. And that came out right with Home and change. So for those of you who are aware of who your twin soul is, you guys are going to start talking about taking your relationships to the next level. Um, for example, moving in together. I see you buying a home together or Taurus, you're purchasing a home and your person or you and your person are going to talk about moving in together into that home. Or possibly, you know, you're maybe you're just thinking of buying a home anyways, and they're going to come in and say, hey, maybe we should do this together. So it is going to be a really big change, but I feel like you're prepared for this change. You've done the work. This card here and this card here shows me that you have you decided to look within yourself and do all of these personal changes to your energy field and to the things that you wanted to attract around you. And by doing that and shifting that focus um, away from this heartbreak, you've created this beautiful timeline of wonderful things that are coming in. And these two cards from the Bodhi um, deck, I'm going to read them to you. It says, love is in the air. You are attracting someone you truly desire, the partner you've always dreamed of. 
And the next one says new connections and new relationships that are more aligned to you or entering your life. So for those of you that have no idea who your twin soul is, I feel like you're definitely going to know within the next, I would say the next three months or so, okay? And that's a very long timeline stretch. I feel like there's a very distinct possibility that you might meet them in this month. For me, there's been a, a, a huge um, energy in the air of like this being the month when a lot of twin souls come into union. They're, <clears throat> it's, it's um, how do I describe this and make it able for you guys to understand. So there is a new batch of twin souls right now that are going to be coming into union in 2023. I've been predicting this for a really long time, for about two years. And I feel like this is now the time. So, and it literally says love is in the air. So, so if you've been out of alignment with your relationships thus far, now you know who you are and what you want and you shifted your energy. And because of that, you're drawing in your twin soul. Okay. And all of the cards are pointing to that with your tarot. Um, we have... Well, we had these two cards that came out together, which showed me that something happened, which really broke your heart and caused you to reflect inside yourself, to do meditating, to sort of discover, not even necessarily meditation, but discovering what it is, the changes that you needed to make in order to shift yourself into your greatest um, timeline of self-love and abundance. And it worked because look, we have the sun which is like happily ever after, all of your dreams coming true, it's bliss, it's, you know, romance, sensuality, all of your dreams, whether they be for abundance, for a new job, um, you know, it's, it's loving your career, loving your life, loving your person, everything um, working out for you, okay? So if you are worried that things are not working out in regards to your twin soul journey, don't worry about it anymore because this is your confirmation that you are on the right track you're following the steps Taurus I'm proud of you you were patient this is showing me you know temperance is patience it's also about alchemizing like negative emotions and turning them into a positive which is what you did and you showed patience with yourself um so that you could experience this honeymoon this home this sun energy um, Knight of Cups is literally an offer of love. So your person is feeling very romantic and very sensual. And they want to bring that energy of love and sensuality straight to you. I mean, it's, look, they're crossing. There's, ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no river wide enough to keep me from getting to you. Look. They're, they're crossing that river to get to you, Taurus. And I don't know why <clears throat> that song was channeled for you, but it'll probably mean something to someone. But they're crossing that river to get to you. And now my throat is all dry. Um, so this person, I feel like, may have been watching you for a while. There's that dragon. He's sort of watching this divine feminine. So if you're a divine feminine watching this and you've been feeling like your twin soul has been keeping tabs on you and watching you, you would be correct about that feeling. Your intuition has been showing you that yes, indeed, they are watching you and they're getting ready to make a move towards you. And they have a lot of bottled up passion for you. Can I just say that? All right, we're going to go ahead and read your roomy card. And hopefully this reading resonated with you and you enjoyed it, Taurus. All right, so this is number three, which is a master number. And I'm just going to read the first parts of this card for you. Okay. And also, if you look at this card... There is a lot of light and it sort of correlates with the sun card that we had um, here. You might be dealing with the fire sign. This is Leo energy. 
Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a fire sign. Maybe both of you have fire in your chart. Somebody definitely has some fire. Um, this energy feels very, very enlightened as well. Okay, the dissolving light. I died as mineral. Where is my bracelet? I had it on. I got lost. Okay, anyways. I died as mineral and became a plant. I died as plant and rose to animal. I died as animal and I became human. Why should I fear anything? Where was I ever less by dying? Dare to take my hands and become set to light with holy fire, my cherished one. Step forward with me, let us burn together. Dissembled in the light that cannot be extinguished. Extinguished, sorry. This is the light that burns with such incandescent truth that no falsehood can withstand its audacious vibrancy. Oh my goodness. I want to read that again because it just sounds so juicy. This is the light that burns with such incandescent truth that no falsehood can withstand its audacious vibrancy. Wow. Come with me now to the light. Together we shall melt into truth. So this is about you or your person finding your inner truth and finding your light. And I feel like I said earlier, Taurus, that you have found your truth and you have found your light and you are stepping into your highest timeline which, of course, your highest timeline includes your person or your twin soul. So when your person comes to you and says, take my hand, let's walk into the light of our truth together, don't be afraid to take that hand and take your person's hand, Taurus, and walk into that light with your person. I hope you enjoyed this reading, Taurus, and if it resonated with you, leave a comment down below, like the video, um, connect with me. I love connecting with you guys. If you want to purchase a reading, I'm going to put all of my readings on sale in reverence to Valentine's Day. I love you, Taurus.